Hey, what's going on guys? This is Anthony from MSMD Perceptions and right now we're going over the skin texture feature in Photo Light Pro. So let's go to the before and back to the after. And I'm gonna zoom in a little more on right around over here and let's show the before again. And let's show the after. Photo Light Pro is a retouching pack for Adobe Photoshop. It's only $24.99 and it's very simple to use. Each effect creates a mask and an action, so it's non-destructive and really easy to use. So the first thing you want to do before we get started is select your pack, 1K, 2K, 5K. This is based on the resolution of the images that you're going to be retouching. I'm going to be retouching high resolution images, so I'm going to choose the 5K pack. And then we're going to do skin texture and play this action. And now just paint the skin zones that you want to retouch. Continue. I'm going to zoom into this. And for this video, I'm only focusing on the face and I'm only focusing on the skin texture feature. So you want to make sure you have your brush selected, you have white selected, and I'd like my opacity to be on 100. Although you can change that for different areas of the skin if you need it at different intensities. And I'm just going to click and drag. And you could see, let me zoom in a little more. This is actually adding more texture. And you might think, why in the world would I want to add more texture to this? This isn't retouching. This isn't making her face look smoother. It's not taking care of the wrinkles, blemishes, highlights, whatever. But the pack is meant to be used as a whole, not singly. So when you pair this with some of the other effects, like the skin mattifier, like the skin correction, that seems to take away some of the detail. So this one helps to bring it back. So this might not look good right now, but I just want to show you what each feature does one by one. And you could see what this is doing. It's bringing out some real natural skin texture wherever I paint on. And again, these are all non-destructive because they're based off masks. So you generally do not want to paint over the eyes, but I will for right now, just to show you how easy it is to undo that. Of course, you could hit the undo button if you wanted to, but you could swap your colors around here to black, or you could hit X on the keyboard and you just paint over the area again, and that's done. So I think I painted out just about the whole face now. Let's zoom out a little and I'm going to show you a before and after. And then again, right now it does not look good. It does. It looks pretty grainy. But again, this is meant to be paired with some of the other softening effects. So let's go to the before and back to the after. And I'm going to zoom in a little more on right around over here and let's show the before again. And let's show the after. So there we go. Thanks for checking out this video of skin texture with Photo Light Pro. And in the next video, and in the next video, we're going to be going over the big. And in the next video, we're going to be going over the skin pigment feature in Photo Light. And in the next video, we're going to be going over the skin pigment feature in Photo Light Pro. So be sure to check that one out if you want to see how that effect works. Thanks.